if you have a micro inverter on this case, we can produce up to 50 percent more energy. On va voir les panneaux Eco. C'est vrai que les panneaux sont nettement plus beaux grâce à la technologie Back Contact, qui offre aussi quelques avantages au niveau des connexions. Du moins, c'est ce que Eco nous dit, qu'apparemment, ils sont beaucoup moins sensibles aux effets de l'ombrage, que les diodes bypass se déclencheraient beaucoup moins. Maintenant, tout le monde n'est pas convaincu forcément de ça, mais c'est déjà un panneau qui est quand même un peu plus sexy que les panneaux classiques. Donc, Back Contact, pourquoi Et Parce qu'en fait, on peut voir que sur un panneau classique ici, les connexions des bus barres se font devant, donc c'est vraiment les connexions des fils électriques qui sont encore visibles. Maintenant de loin, ben, ça se voit moins. Mais ces mêmes connexions sur les panneaux ICO se font derrière et on a un panneau qui est quand même plus uniforme au niveau de la couleur. Ils sont plus beaux, quoi. Du moins, c'est mon avis, les goûts et les couleurs. OK, uh, we've been a bit intrigued. Uh, why is there some water pump in front of the panels? In this case, we have a simulation where we show a traditional panel okay. connected directly to the water pump. And then okay. we have our ICO ABC model connected directly to the water pump. We have these lights okay. that are 1000 watts simulating the sun. Like All right. This. So then you can see the difference on shading situations. So straight on, start. If we start to shade the traditional model, you see here the first bypass tile is activated. We move a little bit on. The second bypass tile is activated. We move more. The third bypass tile is activated, so no power output from the model in this case. The the panel has been shut completely, and so it's the it, it's the role of the bypass diode. They're short circuiting the panel, so if there's uh, some shading on this panel, the other panels in the string are not affected. Yeah, let's see the difference. You can see the pump. All the situation is reactive. You see, you see the bypass tiles are not getting activated. You see a small difference in the output? Well, indeed, because there's still some shading in part of the panel, so... The bypass tiles are not getting activated. So we can see that uh, despite the shade that uh, we're bringing, it's just uh, the panel is producing less because there's less sun effectively on the panel, yeah. but it's not being shut down completely. Yeah. So this could be a game changer uh, for the use of optimizers. Uh, it's a really huge difference on the rooftop situations because of all chimneys, antennas, or anything that can make a shadow on the roof. In many cases, will activate bypass layer. And with these, we can bring an increase of generation up to 30%. Okay, okay. The system, so it's quite a lot of energy that can produce more. There's a whole discussion about uh, putting optimizer because uh, some people sell optimizer as uh, they bringing some monitoring to the panel. And in the end, they're monitoring only themselves because the optimizer tend to yeah. fail before the panel. And one thing that you can have, if you have an optimizer, but the bypass tile is activated, this energy will not get to the optimizer. So the optimizer will not optimize this part. The optimizer will output the current output to not affect the other models in the same string. Okay? What we have in our case, in the case of the small shadows or partial shadows, our current is less affected than the others. So if you have a string, it will affect less the other models on the same string. So in many situations, we can have a similar generation than competitor models with optimizer. Okay, okay. In case of partial shading. We don't say it's not recommended to use optimizer straight on. There are many situations that maybe optimizer should be used when you have uh, different orientations in the same string or if you need the partial shutdown on the this part. Well, there's another problem in, uh, indeed uh, with uh, microinverter, for example, if two of the bypass diodes are the activated, the voltage is not enough anyway, yeah. so the, it's a solution for shading that actually is not working as well as uh, usually marketed. In many situations with optimizer, imagine that the model is shaded by a chimney air, a um, moving situation that the shader is moving during the day. If you have a microinverter on this case, we can produce up to 50% more energy because in many cases you have this situation that you will not get the minimum voltage or you have even the three, three light pass tiles activated, so no power output from the model. And so you can still uh, run on the optimizer or... The well, situation can produce up to 50 percent more. And I, uh, we've discovered your panel is starting to get on the Belgian market, but uh, it's, it's a really nice job you, you've been doing. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for the interview. See you later. Pas trop mal.